Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time we defeated the Vile Goma and saved Dragon Roost Island, and uh, today we're actually going to get the Swift Sail to help me travel around the ocean a little better. So, whoa, hey, yo, hold up! What's a kid like you doing at a uh, time like this? Are you out to take a look at the heavens, too? In that case, you'll get a better view from over here. <laughs> I thought he was going to yell at me, but he's just like, hey, you want to look at the moon with me? And the stars? The moon is pretty nice looking. We can't get distracted, though. So we're going to head over to the auction house because I want to get the swift sale, which, like I said, will help us uh, get around town a little easier. And the auctions only take place at night, so luckily we got here at night. And uh, I can get an ability to change it today, but and I think I'll try to do that after this. But we have to go in the auction house, and I think each time we enter, there's a different auction for sale. So hopefully we get the swift sale. Oh, wait. I don't know Zunari runs this, too. Hey. Well, now, good evening. Yes, 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 I ran out the first floor of this mansion in order to run a nightly auction. Uh, actually, tonight's auction is about to begin. Oh, dear me, is it ever. It is indeed an auction, but I like to describe it more in, the, in simple terms. It is a competition of the very highest order. Oh, yes, it is a competition to see who can get the item that is being auctioned. Can you outbid anyone else? Do you have the courage and the fundage? Oh, the drama. But what's this? Oh, well, dear me, do I detect a hint of curiosity? I, I believe I do. Fortunate, fortunately, we welcome bidders of all ages, both kids and adults. So, oh, uh, yes, so tell me, what would you like to participate in the auction? Oh, yes, absolutely. Really, dear me, really. Uh, now, you're completely fine with me not explaining the auction to you. Uh, I'm correct in assuming this. I'm not completely fine. I gotta know how this works, buddy. Well, uh, then, my dear, allow me to explain. Once the auction begins, you must shrewdly tap A repeatedly so you can earn the right to bid. Oh, the tapping, the excitement. Yes, yes, when you want to bid, tap A. Uh, as you do, your gauge will gradually build up. Once the gauge is full, your chance to bid has finally come. Oh, dear me, yes. And when you bid, then naming the price, well, uh, you're willing to play for the item. Da -ba 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 -ba. Flaunt it, my dear. So I can show my wealth, of course, if fellow bids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to try to bid on this. The dramatic back and forth goes on until time runs out, at which point the person who has the highest bid gets a sublime honor to purchase the item. All right, it only lasts one minute, so we have to try to outbid them. I understand. Hopefully we get the sale, so let's see. Very well, then. Let us begin immediately. No time to dawdle. The auction's afoot. All right. Oh, that lady's here. Who is that guy? I haven't really seen him. <laughs> it's a sailor. And hopefully we can outbid these guys. There's a few items that are useful for sale. Uh, whoa, he's got little pigtails. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank you all for bargain-loving people for joining us this evening. Dear me, what a turnout. The auction's about to begin. Yes, and what do you suppose will pop up as our item for the evening? Oh, dear me, I'm so excited I can't stop sniffling. The calm before the auction storm always makes my nose run. Uh, this evening, the auction item is this. <gasps> a fabulous swift sale. Ooh, that's what we want. Oh, my dear, what a prize. At last, the suspense is over. All the drama aside, you shouldn't know it. Extremely rare, rare to even get a chance to own a fabulous item like this. It is precious, quite dear, very valuable. Yes, yes, yes. Listen well, for I do not lie. So we wanted that, but there could be heart pieces and stuff, too. Oh, it's beginning at 100 rupees. I hopefully have enough money to do this. And... Begin! All right, we're going to try to try to tap it and tap it. Tap, 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 tap. And hopefully we can outbid. Oh, that guy's faster than me. Three rupees. Gummy. His name is Gummy. All right. So if I add about 10% to the bid, I should be able to outbid him. If the bid, if it's a hundred, oh, it's so 10% would be, I think about, eh, somewhere around there. I'll just do 120. So I should be able to shock the people into, uh, cri yeah, the crowd reeling. So they're all stunned. Oh, I can't believe this. This kid's rolling a dough. So they're all stunned. So while they're stunned, I get a little bit more time to, uh, to kind of play out the clock and when they're not stunned hopefully i can ring in with a bid oh it's gonna make me bid again oh i shouldn't have tapped it so much i'll just do one rupee there we go let's see if that yeah they're stunned still i'm just gonna let somebody else bid for a little while here uh, 124 all right we want to get this for a low amount if we can but hopefully i have enough to get yeah our current top bidder is the worthy vera all right do i hear another bid come on my dear people let loose let loose Oh, uh, that Mario's bidding. Garrick's in 128. Okay, keep bidding low, guys. I don't see the timer, so I need to be careful about this, but I, I think we got a good, like, 30 seconds or so. Gummy's in for another third, 131. All right, here we are another bid. Let loose, let loose. Oh, jeez, they're quick. 137 from Gossick. Oh, no. Minako, what is this getting? It sounds like Minako Fuji. Uh, Fujiko. All right, Linda. <laughs> Everybody's... Time's running out. All right, I'm going to bid and do, what is it at, 148? Another 10% on that would be, I'll just do like 20 rupees above 169. That's fine. 
That's the, I just want to make sure I shock them. We got two, two thirty second. So if I if I was to uh, bid again here, one last time, I should be able to get them stunned again. I need to add another twenty or thirty or so. Oh, um, they're not stunned anymore. Crap! I want to keep them stunned because we're getting so close to the end. I'm just gonna bid again and hopefully I'll stun them. We got sixteen seconds left. Um, let's do let's do one ninety or so. That should be good, right? Maybe 191. I'm having a hard time calculating 10% uh, more. It's just an innocent little boy! How do you let me drink? <laughs> Alright, I want to get this close so that as soon as they're unstunned, I can bid again. I actually kind of want to just bid again just to make sure because we only have 8 seconds. Alright, this should stun them enough. Let's do 113 or 213. All right, I pr I'm sure I could have gotten this for cheaper, but I just want to get it. I don't really care that much. I want to make sure I'm ready to get again, just in case they become unstunned. Five seconds remain. Hope somebody doesn't snipe me like an eBay. I'm just going to jump in and do one more, just in case. Two more. I probably would have been fine. There we go. All right, and sold. Here ends the auction. So yeah, you just kind of have to stun them at the right time so that they don't outbid you. Dear me, let me just say congratulations. So now we have the swift sale. I might come back and mess with this on my own later. Thanks to expert sale, Miking Craftsmanship, it can sell faster than ever. What's better, whenever you use it, a favorable wind will always be at your back. No need to manually change wind direction. Voyaging has never been more efficient. Sweet, so I never have to do that. <laughs> My dear, how incredible that such a youngster walked away with that prize. I've never seen such a fat wallet. That kid was a bidding machine right up to the end. Now and then, on to business. All right. Let me say, thank you for your participation. I must begin, or it's at an end. Okay. So yeah, we can come back and get like heart pieces and different stuff from here, but I'll do that on my own. See ya, suckers. All right. <laughs> so we got the swift sail, which lets us uh, sail. Yeah, I didn't realize it actually makes the wind go in your favorable direction. That's awesome. So I never have to change it when I'm on the boat. I feel like I'm going to forget how to play the Wind's Requiem because normally that's what you use the Wind's Requiem for. You play it a bunch of times like that. So uh, I do want to go talk to this guy again. Uh, so yeah, this this dude over here, Elvis, Michael Jackson, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Check out this, uh, this little magic wand I got here. He's going to help us out, and then uh, we can uh, get off this island here. Uh, uh, cha, uh, cha, that's it. That's it. That's a rhythm I've been trying to recall. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it, guy. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Left. And... Oh. Down. <laughs> just, yeah. yeah. He's a little yeah. bit weird. He's kind of out of time. He has a bre breathing strip on his nose, which is even stranger. I don't know. Okay, right. Left. Down. So we got a new song. This is a very useful song as well. And I'll show you what it does here in a second. It is the Song of Passing. It allows Link to fart. Whenever he wants to. No, no. Uh, that's it. That's it. And it's perfect. I'm perfect. I'm gonna let the sun shine on. Yeah. All right. And uh, he can't quite do it because he's not really magical. I'm not. I keep wondering why he's at this grave. What's the matter? Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Why? He's probably got a tragic backstory. But anyways, we've learned what we need to learn from here. Why? Why does my dancing do nothing to the skies? Why am I cursed? So just where am I lacking, guy? What is wrong with me? I must know. But if we were to play the song, then we can make something magical happen here. And here we go. All right, a little cutscene, and this is what the song does. It's like the sun song in Ocarina of Time. It turns it to day. Now it's so much more beautiful here. I like tonight, but oh, I almost jumped off that cliff. So yeah, now that we have the swift sail and the song of passing, we could probably get going and head to the new area and uh, we'll see just how much faster this sale is. I'll, I'll probably come back and mess with side quests here on my own, maybe. I don't know. I want to show you guys the side quests, but I don't want to dilly-dally away from the main story too much, because I know that's that's what most people are here to see. They want to they wanna see the main storyline, all the cutscenes and all that cool stuff. But some of the qu uh, side quests are pretty cool. He's on the Toon Link diet. I don't want to look at that. Okay, so it was trying to open Miiverse to, to look at the Tingle Bottle. Most of those aren't too, you know, I can make my own funny screenshots. All right, let's set sail. The wind, we want to go, let me look at my map here. We're going this way to head to that island far to the bottom. And let's try out the swift sail. Here we go. Sweet. And uh, I think it makes my sail fat. I feel like I'm sailing a bit faster. Let's try normal. Yeah, it is a bit faster. 
and the wind is facing my direction automatically. Very useful. It kind of goes with the boat a little better, too. Look, it's nice and red, like the King of Red Lions. Whoa! It is too soon for us to venture in this direction. We should sail directly to the next destination. That's where we're going, man. Oh, he's trying to keep us out of the one island. We gotta go over to Dragon Roost again. I think he's, he's, a. Uh, there's some islands down there that are, are probably a little, you know, uh, beyond our reach right now. We don't have <laughs> the right weapons and stuff. So yeah, ooh, there was another Tingle Bottle. Not gonna mess with it. We're going by Pawprint Island. Ooh, things are getting scary and stormy out here. Let's go, uh, scary stories for stormy nights. Let's try to get some rupees on our way. Once we get Dragon Roost, we can, we can head down from there. If I had the Song of Storms in Ocarina, I could change it today. I got, when I was younger playing this, I would get a little paranoid because the, there are some scary stuff at sea, and I would, uh, I would be afraid to go into certain, certain areas because I'm like, oh no, I might get attacked by something mysterious, and, uh, eventually we'll see those, but for now I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna just head the way that we're supposed to. Let's see if I can get this, whoa, go back to my normal sail. There we go. Oh no, it's gone. <laughs> okay. If I switch to my other sail, we should... Does the wind... The wind always points with me when I have the swift sail. I don't have to keep changing it. That's awesome. The swift sail is quite a magical item. Alright, so there is the island that we're headed to. And uh, for a while, I'll keep the sailing parts in, because I know that I, I, there's a lot of new stuff to see while we're sailing around. But I will eventually... I'll, I'll probably cut out some of these sailing parts to keep it, you know, a bit swifter here. Whoa, there's another fish. Let's... Uh, Let's go past this vault. This is another volcano. It's another active one as well. And I'm gonna throw some bait down. Get our little fishy bunny to help us. Hey, buddy, eat that. Eat that. Eat that bait. Is he not gonna go for it? I might have to throw another one because I didn't throw it exactly. Oh, I accidentally jumped out. Oh no, Karak! Ah! <laughs> He's attacking us. Can I fight him when I'm in the ship? I don't have a sword to fight with him. Let's uh, yeah, I gotta look out. Okay, let's get out of here. Screw the fish. Go, go, go! <laughs> let me let me sail, let me sail! Okay. There we go. Alright. I'll come back to that island. <laughs> it's that bird. <laughs> He's like... Well, the, when when you're on an island and there's not much food, you'll attack anything, even a little kid in a sailboat. And right now I don't have a means of attacking in the boat, unfortunately. So I'll map out all these items over time. Or all these islands over time, but right now I'm not too worried. We'll be back to that volcano, obviously tell that it was kind of a, an important little island there. Alright, so what's up next? What island are we going to pass? Most of these are pretty small islands, but uh, a lot of the major ones you'll see. Ooh, let's avoid those. Those are whirlwinds. Little tornado-y things. We don't want to get sucked up in any of those. Gotta be careful here. There's another island over there with a boat. I'm just going to bypass that for now. Whoa, this is a squid. <laughs> scared me. It's shooting bombs? What? How are they? Are they eating bombs or something? Yeah, for some reason, <laughs> in the normal Zelda, when you're going around on the field, it's not as creepy because you can see stuff ahead of time. But this is like anything can just pop out of the ocean and attack you, and it's uh, quite alarming. So that's where we're headed, I believe. We're almost there. It's gonna get dark before we get there, but luckily we have the song of passing. Let's uh, skip along the water like a nice little rock. It's easier to see these little spots in the ocean though when you. Uh, have a uh, nightfall to see these. I think I should be able to get this. There we go, right on it. Sweet. Let's see what treasure we got. I don't always stop for these, but right now I just spent 215 rupees on a, on a magical sale, so I'm gonna need as many rupees as I can. And it's a nice purple rupee. There we go. Oh, didn't <laughs> I was trying to go through the text faster and I got out of the boat on accident. Alright, let's get back on our course. And we're almost where we need to go. There's one of those little pirate platforms. Sometimes those have treasure. We can go check that out real quick. Let's see. There we go. Let's slow her down. Oh no, they're shooting at us. Crap. It's trying to get us, but it can't find us. Alright, stop. Get out. There we go. The B button, I, I, I got to remember, is to get out. Oh, jump on there. Let's go fight some pirates. Man, he's yawning. This is intense. <laughs> we're going to go up here and stop their little cannons. There they are. Oh, they saw me! Uh, nope, I didn't mean to take a picture. <laughs> I want to use my uh, grappling hook on him. There we go. We're gonna grab some joy pendants from these guys. I think like ten or so is how many I need. We'll see. Most of the pirates seem to carry them. I'm not sure they're because they're the Boca blends you'd think would be evil, 
but they're, uh, you know, they have little butterfly pendants that they wear around their neck. <laughs> so I don't know what to think. Let's grab some loot, and we'll see what they left us here. Man, it's so calm, and without the sea music playing and the battle music, everything got so calm and quiet. And it's a red rupee. That was worth fighting and killing some bokoblins for. All right, so we're almost to this island. Let's jump back on my boat. I feel uneasy swimming around. Whoa, do the cannons still shoot at us? There's nobody. There's nobody there. I wonder if there's goblin or bokoblins like hidden inside the, uh, the little platform there. All right, we are almost to our destination. This one island up here, or two islands. Let's see what it is. So this is going to be the next dungeon up here, and it's a heavily wooded place. I want to avoid that one island because there's a whirlwind there. And here we are, we're going to get a little cutscene. The major islands all have a cutscene. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That is where you must go link the forest haven. Oh, so we're going to get some new stuff here and, uh, and go explore another dungeon. And it kind of looks stumpy like it's a dead tree. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface. But it is a sacred place. It is inside the grotto you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku tree. You must speak with the Deku tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Farora's Pearl. I, hear, I fear that but Ganon's vile hand may have uh, already reached the most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. Alright. Anything in the mailbox for us? Oops. <laughs> you don't want to open it by uh, ramming your head into it. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? I don't have anything for delivery. I just wanted to check. I think the post box will like freak out when you have something that uh, is in the mail for you. Yeah, just the standard stuff. <laughs> He looks so sad when I leave without buying anything. He does the same thing even if I leave with buying something, so. Alright, we're going to head up here and uh, make our way to the great Deku tree. And uh, we'll talk to him in a sec. Whoa! So we got some... I think these are... They were called Deku Babas in, in the other games. But I think they have a different name in this. And he's got... He drops a little stick. And a new loot item! The Boku Babas seed. So yeah, they're Boku Babas. The source of the evil plant's magic. Perhaps it can find someone to cook it up. So all of these have uses. It's just a matter of finding where the uh, where we can use them at. I see somebody over there. Let's uh, let's get my telescope out. It's so easy to put my items on here. It's, I'm more willing to go around and uh, and do it. Okay, let's zoom in. It's L to zoom. I keep getting used. Oh, who is that? Who's that lady? Is that a guy or a lady? Oh, it's a guy. He's got a shopping bag. All right, we'll meet him later. <laughs> Let's go fight some more of these. I'm gonna steal their seeds before they can even do anything. There we go. Slice. And they drop their sticks. In the... Uh... Oh no, he ate me! <laughs> Crap! I got a little too close to him. Ouch. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. In uh, Ocarina of Time, you could use their sticks as an actual like item that you carry. But in these ones, you can see it's the same stick that the Bokoblins use to, uh, to go around. Whoa! Jeez. These guys. I want to steal the thing before I kill him. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Okay. I want to make sure. Oh, he always drops the seed in his in his little pod, so I never have to worry about that getting thrown out of the way. Ooh, there's an Octorok. It's one. Of, it's similar to one of the ones that we saw in the sea, but not quite the same. Whoop, we don't want to jump in there. No! <laughs> I should have aimed that a little better. And that was one of the things that I mentioned, too. In the old game, um, you would have to stop your rope and aim. And uh, this is a good example of one of the times where I don't have to stop and let the Octorok shoot at me. I can just uh, aim my little my little rope mid-swing or whatever. Oops, that's the same button here. There we go. And then I can gaze over. There we go. All right. And I got to look out for this Octorok because I think he shoots stuff at me. Oh, there we go. Block it with a shield. And there he goes. <laughs> Such a comical sound when he, uh, he gets uh, knocked out by his own little seed thingy. However they, I wonder if they, it's like they eat stuff and it turns into rocks in their belly. I'm sure there's some scientific Pikmin-esque reasoning for it. Let's knock that back. I think I can just walk over this. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't. Crap. <laughs> Hurry, grab something. Grab, grab Link. Alright. Well, anyways, we'll make our way up there. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I'll get up there. And when we come back, I will, uh, I'll go talk to the great Deku tree. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Goodbye.